don't want to leave here tonight without saying thank you, Sister James, for praying for me. Because this week I come within an inch of getting electrocuted. And I want to thank God for watching over me and keeping his hand on me. I was pulling a extension cord down and it's, I got so close to when it, it sharded out, it was right by my thumbs and it blacked the tops of them. That's how close I come. And I'd like to say thank you, Lord, once again for protecting me. I can't, I can't, I can't begin to count how many times He's protecting me. I've had several times when my brakes would go out on my car. Well, every time I'd either be pulling into a parking lot or be just almost stopping, and the pedal would just go to the floor. He's He's whooped me several times for <laughs> things. I I kind of when I was young, well, I still do. I'm working on it still, but he, He's He's helped me along the way. I remember when I was young, I had a problem with, with my temper. I remember one time I, I was real mad and real upset, and, and the Lord knows how to work on you. I, was, I left the ha- my aunt's house and was coming home. A man run, uh, was in the rain and, and couldn't stop. His wheels were slick and run into the side of my car and knocked me around and kind of totaled out my car. And I said, Lord, I know what I got that far. I'm sorry. And another time I almost cut my wrist pretty, well I did cut it pretty bad. I got real mad at my sister one time, just let my temper boil, and I put my hand through a window just kind of accidentally, but, but I can remember all them, all the times that God's uh, kept me, and then what me, and we, I remember me and another brother in the Fort Worth church had, well you know how you, when you're young you have mischief, and full of mischief and stuff, and uh, Every time it seemed like we'd do something, we couldn't get away with nothing. <laughs> the Lord would almost would, would always uh, whoop me, whoop us for it, and some way or another we'd get a whooping. But I thank the Lord; He thought enough of me to be a, to call me His child. Amen. He thought enough of me to to do that deal with my life, even though I didn't have a nat- natural father to take care of me when I was growing up. I learned to rely on my, the brothers in the church. I learned of Brother Pat and Brother Philip and Brother John and different brothers over in the Fort Worth church. There was times that I wouldn't listen, but the Lord will thank me for it. I've, 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 I've uh, thanked the Lord that he gave me some brothers in the church over there that took time with me. And I thank the Lord for giving me the Holy Ghost. I got it when I was seven. I can remember times sometime when I'd feel sorry for myself. Uh, not having a father and seeing all these others do it, but God would always reward me and make me feel like, well, I'm your father. I'll take care of you. It would bless me in times of growing up. Right. And then it would make me really feel bad when I wouldn't do right toward him. Sometimes you get out and see your heart and you can't talk to him and he has to do something to you. If he loves you, he's not going to let you drift too far because he knows that your heart's toward him. He'll reach out and bring you back. You don't, you don't have to worry about it sometimes he has a drastic thing to happen but sometimes he does it with his love he'll reach out and draw you back in but I'm thankful that I listened to to brother Don and, and brother brother Philip and brother John as, as I was growing up we uh, I remember one time brother Philip told us not to do something we went ahead and did it anyway and this other brother felt the consequences of it he, he busted his head open and it made me feel real bad because I knew we wasn't supposed to do it and it was almost like I was the one who got my head busted open because I knew that I'd done wrong. But I want to I wanna go with God. I want to develop a tenderness toward my brothers and sisters that, that I'll open my heart up to them. And if, if they have a problem, I'll feel the problem. I'll feel the need. Because I know if I don't get in here and work with my brothers and sisters like I should, there's, there's no way I can go to heaven. It says if you, if you don't love your brother whom you have seen, how can you love me? That's what Jesus asked some of them. So I, I want to I wanna grow, grow in loving my brothers and sisters. And even though sometimes I feel like I'm getting taken advantage of, I don't have to worry about it because I know God's watching over me and he'll take care of that problem. If I just uh, open my heart up and, and let my love reach out to them. I'd like to have a tenderness as Brother Whitlow often gets up and sings a song. I try to sing it sometimes, but I can't develop it and put it out like he can unless God helps me sometimes. But it just touched my heart every time I hear him get up and talk about having a tenderness within your heart, loving your brother, loving your sister. Not not If they do something to you that you, you feel that's uh, not right, well, go to the Lord about it and talk to him about it. He, he'll... Uh, He'll take care of whatever problem it is that you might come up against or whatever you have. A lot of times I've had that to happen uh, at home with my wife. 
I'd feel like she wouldn't treat me right or something. Well, she'd always, the Lord would always seem like talk to her heart, and she'd come back and make it up to me, yet she not knowing what she had done. If it can be that way in the house of God, if somebody does you wrong, you, don't, you can just give it over to God, and he'll take care of it. You don't have to worry about, about the other problem because he'll handle it. But I, I really just wanted to at least thank the Lord that I'm still here, that he thought enough of me this week to watch over me. Amen. And I know there's times in our lives when, when, when different things happen that he's always there watching over us when we don't know it at times. He, he, when we're asleep at night, he could, uh, he, uh, I'm sure he's uh, detoured a lot of burglars away from my house because I've seen evidences of it. Possible, maybe a car drove up at the time they was trying to come in or something. But he's always got it watching over. He said the righteous man will avail forever. I'm gonna sing the song. I'm just putting out a sacrifice here. I did just want to get up and tell the Lord that I'm thankful for uh, keeping His hand on me. I don't know it real well, but I'm gonna try. Oh, the 